What's up, everybody? This is the Act Man here, and today I feel quite disappointed. Now, I like to maintain a decent amount of positivity on this channel, but it just so happens that around the times of E3, there's a lot of controversy and a lot of great things coming out. For the most part, this year's E3 was one of the best, as I talked about in my previous video. At this point, though, it kind of seems like every time we hear something new about Call of Duty and Black Ops 4, it fucking sucks. It's negative. Could be my ears aren't listening to everything that's out there, but what they did pick up on, and what plenty of you asked me to talk about, was the Black Ops 4 Season Pass hybrid thing. Let me just say, I want to go back to talking about why Modern Warfare 1 and 2 were awesome, and some of the older games. I want to play Black Ops 2 for the first time. COD fans need a bit more positivity, but they ain't getting that shit from Activision or Treyarch right now. There's a lot of frustration, a lot of fatigue, and plenty of exhaustion in the Call of Duty community. And that's for plenty of reasons. But the main one is these issues plaguing the Black Ops 4 past are just the latest in a series of shit fans have had to deal with. But who would have guessed it would get worse? After all this time, you know, 10 years of making Black Ops 1, 2, and 3, you ask yourself, where do you go with this now, right? I have a bad feeling about this. But first, what is the Black Ops 4 pass? Well, it's an even worse version of the same thing Activision has been selling gamers since Black Ops 1 eight years ago. It's your typical promise of future content and asking fans to pitch in before they even know what they're getting. Now, why are fans so upset about this particular season pass? What makes it different? Why are people spamming this hashtag on the Call of Duty Twitch channel? Well, for one, the rumors surrounding this game, though obviously just rumors and not credible, raised people's expectations and gave the false hope of a free DLC plan. Second, they've designed the season pass in a way that locks you out of the DLC completely. It's a one-way street, no deviations, no single purchases, no just buying the zombies stuff, no buying the game and then deciding later you want the season pass. No, this is a fucking all or nothing. Deal or no deal. That's what I'm reading. I, I thought this was fake at first. I honestly did, and I'm still skeptical. I'm not convinced this isn't just a bait and switch, because holy shit. It's like Activision and Treyarch don't want you to buy Black Ops 4. You already lost credibility and good faith in a lot of fans when you decided to cut out the single player campaign and chill out for Battle Royale, but now this? Come on, man. How hard is it to just offer a good deal? Or give people this stuff for free? So what it actually is, according to Activision's own website, the season pass includes a classified bonus zombies experience, Four new zombies maps not available at launch, 12 new multiplayer maps, and exclusive blackout characters, specialists, blah blah blah. This pass and all the DLC is only available to you. Let me make that clear, the DLC is only available if you spend upwards of $100. And it's all or nothing. Hello, I like money. What inspired you to lump all the future DLC into a single package that can only be purchased with the game and not separately? Money! One of the biggest issues with this pass is the timing of it. We're in a period where most companies have been phasing out season passes from their monetization schemes because I think they realized how damaging it is in the long run, especially for multiplayer games. Like, like honestly, what new game coming out has announced a season's pass? Whatever the new Assassin's Creed is going to be? That's all I can think of. So it makes Black Ops 4 look worse in comparison to other games coming out because they still haven't ditched it for free DLC. People eat that shit up, but what they don't like eating is a scheme of DLC that costs way too much, doesn't show you what you're buying, and fractures the community of a game with an already short lifespan. Since Black Ops 4 isn't doing this, in this scenario, Activision and Treyarch are painting themselves like the consumers are expendable. Who cares if a bunch of people leave COD in the dust and don't buy Black Ops 4? Yeah, maybe, we'll make money. We'll make money either way. It just doesn't come across like they actually care about the fan base because they keep doing the same shit over and over when they've been told, hey, this is not what we want. But then again, the COD community sends very mixed signals, so I don't know who's the villain in this scenario, but it's probably Activision. And another problem with this pass that ties into the franchise fatigue I talked about is they've been doing this for 10 years. 10 years. If I'm not mistaken, they've sold a season pass with every single mainline Call of Duty game for the last decade. D do you think that's enough? 
isn't it time to evolve? What about doing things the Black Ops way? Every Call of Duty game has pissed me off in this regard because 75% of the time, if I want to buy DLC, I just want the new fucking Zombies map. Yet they insisted on tying that in with the multiplayer maps. The greed is unreal because they're still charging for map packs in Black Ops 1 and World at War. J just make it free. The monetization schemes never stop. You got COD points, pre-order bonuses, early access, deluxe edition, digital deluxe edition, digital deluxe enhanced edition, pro edition, microtransactions, loot boxes, supply drops, Black Ops Pass, Season Pass, PlayStation timed exclusives. It just never fucking stops. It's almost like Call of Duty is just a cash cow that's there to make money at any cost and it... Yeah, that sounds spot on actually. Call of Duty is just a cash cow. And it hurts to say that because I remember a time when the series had a soul. When it felt like they cared about the fan base. And I'm not saying we aren't an entitled bunch sometimes, but come the fuck on dude. You're charging upwards of 99 bucks for this shit. I can't buy DLC multiplayer maps on their own. I've never been able to do that with a Call of Duty game. I can't buy zombies maps on their own. Having convenient spending options for your consumers shouldn't be so fucking difficult. This all gets worse when you look at Treyarch's comments on Black Ops 4 and the season pass and the sheer just like arrogance or, or the cluelessness. Ultimately it boils down to almost this simply, hey, this is a game made for Black Ops fans and the things that they most love about playing Black Ops games and it's more of that and that's it. Yeah, this, this guy, I, I think he's actually serious. Let me elucidate what he's trying to say. Hey there, fellow Black Ops fans. Do you love zombies? Yeah! Do you love Reznov in the single player campaigns? Yeah! Do you love when we replace the campaign with Battle Royale? N no Do you love $50 season passes? N no Do you love a fractured community and multiplayer experience with certain playlists that die in population, leaving you with content you can't actually play, but already paid for? No, you fucking idiot. I get it, you gotta shill for the game. Pretend like things are all good, and it's all just a facade. They don't give a shit. To be honest, I do find the gameplay intriguing, and COD World War II didn't scratch that multiplayer itch for me. But it doesn't matter if I think it looks cool, because what's not cool is having Activision stick their dirty ass hands down my pants trying to fish out my wallet. I do like the idea of slowing the gameplay down just a bit, and offering more tactical decisions, along with a revamped health system. That's something I think COD has needed to do or at least try for a while. And they've been acting like what they're doing is revolutionary. Th that's how they've been painting Black Ops 4 this whole time. Forget what you know. Doing things the Black Ops way. Redefining the way downloadable content is introduced into the franchise. And this might just apply to me, but I, I really don't care about specialists or whatever these community events they are they're talking about to try and downplay this issue. I, I, I don't care, dude. I just want fun gameplay, great customization, for God's sake, quality map design, and I don't want to feel like I'm being ripped off or exploited. What blows my mind with the whole shebang is fucking get this. There's now a worse gaming company than EA at the moment. Let that sink in. EA has made more ethical choices for their consumers than Activision and Treyarch. Although to be honest, Activision has always been just a mirror of EA, but still, hard to believe They've dug themselves into deeper shit, while EA and DICE have been digging themselves out. Call of Duty, arguably, and in the eyes of this humble reporter, has the worst track record when it comes to the treatment of their consumers. You could go down the checklist, down the rabbit hole as far as you'd like. The tide really started to turn with Infinite Warfare and the way they treated Modern Warfare Remastered. Call of Duty has been the frontrunner of first-person shooters and video games in general for a long time but I foresee a decline. Not huge, yet significant enough to raise eyebrows. Call of Duty is just going to get beaten out by the competition for not adapting, for sticking to archaic models and clinging onto them for so long. Why would people go to Black Ops 4 when Battlefield 5 is gonna give them more for their money? I guess the hardcore COD fanboys will always be there, but that only gets you so far. If you're not bringing in more people than you're losing, eventually that's gonna come back to bite you in the ass. People only take so much shit before they decide to jump ship, and right now, there's far too many reasons to jump ship off the Call of Duty boat. It's sinking. 
Fortnite is free to play, PUBG is very popular, Totally Accurate Battlegrounds is hilarious, and Battlefield 5 is going to have free DLC, so this might result in the blackout mode falling flat on its face. Because Activision needs to milk you for everything you're worth. There's just, there's so many great games that just offer a better deal. StarCraft 2 recently went to a free to play model. Smash Bros Ultimate is going to be the greatest thing ever. Doom Eternal is around the corner. Gears of War 5, Crackdown 3, The Division 2 will have free DLC. Battlefront 2 is getting free Clone Wars DLC. Anthem could blow up and be incredible. Halo Infinite is on its way. There's so many more. All these games I'm mentioning are giving you more and better reasons to play them and invest your time with them than Black Ops 4 is. And that's because all those other companies and games are evolving where Activision isn't. In the end, you could boil all this frustration down into so many different things. So much has led up to this feeling of resentment in the COD community, dissatisfaction, that trying to list off every transgression for the last 10 years would take too long. It's a lack of evolution, a progressively greedier sales pitch year after year after year. Call of Duty lost its soul long ago. It's a cash cow now, and I didn't think it would get worse. But what do you think? Are you unhappy with the Black Ops 4 pass? The way the game appears to be headed? Or are you excited? Maybe you're apathetic to the whole thing, but whatever your thoughts are, leave them in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to The Act Man for more awesome content. Alright everyone, that's all I got for today. This is The Act Man, signing out. Peace!